This is Crystal, and we're redlining in Microsoft Word. Yes, you can compare documents in Microsoft Word. Redlining is that old school name for just looking at documents and seeing, hmm, are there any changes in this document? Years ago, they actually used to use a red pen or pencil to differentiate. It's also called blacklining. Word calls it comparing. If I'm in a document, and I'm going to be in the original document, I want to actually compare it to another document. So here I am in Word, and if I go to the Review tab, I actually select the Compare group. Once I click on Compare, I get two choices, but I actually want to compare two versions of a document. It's also called a legal black line. In the legal industry, they call it black line. Here's the original document where I can choose from any one of these documents that are in this list. It's not in the list because it's not one of my recent files. So I'm going to actually go and open up that file. So here's the original document. So I just select it here and click on open. And it brings me back to this dialog box where I'm going to choose from the revised document. And here's the document with changes. I come right back here, and if I click on this more, I can actually select what comparisons I'd like to see in this third document that is open. I actually want to show changes in a new document. As soon as I click OK, it gives me both my original, my revised, and a new document with all of the changes in it. In this compared document here, I can actually choose to save this document or just kind of go through the document, kind of scroll through, and see where the changes are. I also have this navigation pane here that tells me how many changes have been made in the document, insertions, formatting, anything that's been added. So there you go. You've done your first red line in Word. This is Crystal. See you soon.